Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janera and today I'm going to be reviewing Charlotte Tilbury's new Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. So if you're interested in seeing the try on, review and wear test of this concealer, then keep on watching. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to prep my face with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And then next I'll be using Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Foundation in the shade 13 Warm. And I'm going to blend this out with my Morphe M439 brush. And I love this foundation. And next I'll be using the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer in the shade 13 Deep. And before I swatch this shade, I just want to read you guys a couple of these claims. This is supposed to be a hydrating concealer with medium buildable coverage, 16 hour wear, 10% active ingredients. It's infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid, pore refining niacinamide, brightening radiance boosting golden vitamin C, and vegan collagen to improve the look of your skin every time you wear it. It also comes in 33 different shades and retails for $33. And let me show you guys this applicator. It's kind of on the small side compared to other concealers that I have. Right off the bat, I can already tell that this is not gonna be a highlighting concealer for me. This is closer to my skin tone, which makes sense because in the foundation, I'm 13 warm, and this is the shade 13 deep, which is very interesting to me. I might have to go down to shade 12 or 11 just to get the highlighting shade that I want. But either way, I'm still gonna be testing out this formula and see how it wears throughout the day. And before I apply this concealer, I just wanna compare this shade to a couple of other new concealers that I've been testing out. I feel like at the beginning of the summer, like we just kept getting all these new releases for bronzers and right now it's concealer okay so here are the shade comparisons this first one is the 13 deep for charlotte tilbury this next swatch is bobby brown's new skin full cover concealer in golden this next one is Too faced born this way concealer in butterscotch and the last one is sephora's best skin ever in 33.5 y so let's try this out I'll be using my beauty blender to blend this out. Okay, so I really like how quickly this concealer blends out. And I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but it's super radiant. Like, it's very shiny under my eyes. And I'm really not a big fan of radiant finishes, but I think that once I add the setting powder, it'll definitely make it a lot more matte. But since it says that this formula is buildable, I'm gonna add a little bit more. And I really don't like how small this applicator is. It's kind of uncomfortable to apply it. Like, it feels like it's like poking my eyes. Not a big deal, but definitely don't like this applicator. I think they should have made it a lot bigger. So I don't know if I'll agree with the claim that it has buildable coverage. Even though I add it more, it still seems like medium coverage. But I do like that I'm not seeing any creasing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight the rest of my face. So this is the finish of the concealer before setting powder. And the setting powder that I'll be using is from Laura Mercier in the shade Honey. And 
And this is the finish of this concealer after adding setting powder. Still, I don't see any creasing. Next, I'm gonna go off camera and finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. All right, so I am back and this is a completed makeup look for today. I tried to use most of Charlotte Tilbury's products, like the ones that I do have. So I did use her new Beautiful Skin Creamy Bronzer, and I also used her 5 Minute Makeup Kit in the shade Sun Kiss. I didn't use the eyeshadow from it though, I only used the blush and the highlighter. And then as you guys saw in the beginning, I did use her 13 Warm Beautiful Skin Foundation. But focusing on the concealer, I really do like this concealer. It's not as thick as I would want it to be, like full coverage, but I think if you're using it like for everyday wear or pairing it with a skin tint, I think this would be perfect for you because it does give just the right amount of coverage and it doesn't crease. But so far, I really do like this concealer. I think it has a very beautiful radiant finish. I do like that I can tone down this radiant finish with my setting powder. I am gonna be doing a wear test for this concealer, so we'll see how this formula holds up and I'll see you guys in about 10 hours. So I'm back with the 10 hour update and I'll get closer so that we can see this finish. Overall, I don't see any additional creasing, which is really good. I was outside for a couple of hours today and I think that this concealer lasted really well. Honestly, I'm really liking that a lot of these new concealers have hyaluronic acid. It just keeps my eyes super hydrated, like I don't get that super drying feeling anymore. Because I do have oily skin, I used to think that hyaluronic acid wasn't for me, but I'm actually really liking it in a lot of my makeup products, like the formulas just feel a lot more comfortable on my skin. Even though I really like the formula for this concealer, I still don't think it's a must have. And I don't know if that's just because I've been testing out so many new concealers, but this one kind of reminds me of the formula for Say Beauty, the Hydra Beam Concealer. So if you have that one already, I would say don't even bother picking this one up. It's pretty similar. But if you don't have the Hydra Beam Concealer already, I would say go ahead and check out this one, especially if you're someone who really likes skin tints and the no makeup makeup look, because this concealer would pair really well with that. But if you're someone who likes full glam looks, you know, this might not be the concealer for you. But overall, I do like this formula. I think it's lasted pretty well throughout this wear test. I just don't think that it has like a wow factor to it but again that could just be because I've tried out so many concealers lately so it's gonna take a lot to impress me but yeah those are my final thoughts on this new beautiful skin radiant concealer from Charlotte Tilbury if you have any questions about this new concealer please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thank you guys for tuning in for another video if you are new here welcome and please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye